Hello, my name is Joshua Taylor, uh, known by the Shadowrun community as Torque. I'm currently a co-sysop and moderator of the Shadow Haven. Uh, formerly, I've been character creation head of such a community as the Shadownet and also Shadow Haven. Uh, today, I'm here to review Dragon Piss because the Prime Edition of Shadowrun Crossfire was sold out and will be until October. Uh, you know, I may have spent $500 to come here to Gen Con and stay at the JW Marriott, but my consolation prize is a free bottle of water. So today, I'm here to show you Dragon Piss. It's $5 a bottle, uh, 50 for a 12 pack. Uh, as you can see, um, they've named it after their editing methodology, uh, Piss. Um, Thankfully, it is a healthy option at 160 calories because, much like all of Catalyst products, something is always lacking. Alright, let's see here. I just had a bit of lunch, so I'm going to clear the palate with some purified water from Roxanne, lovingly given to me by the JW Marriott here in Indianapolis at Gen Con. So the first thing I'd like to note about this bottle is that it has the Shadowrun logo followed by its name and energy drink. So this is an energy drink. This is not a soft drink. Uh, and it also has a picture of a dragon. Uh, I think it would be Dunkelzon, but I'm an old fogey. It could be any of the dragons. Perhaps Lofuir. So the first thing I'd like to do is open this can uh, and just see what kind of sound we get. Nice hiss, one click, two click, three click, and it's open. That's a very nice audible loud click, very pressurized and reserved drink. Now, not much carbonation. Uh, the bubbles are very subdued, at least in the can when you open it. It's something I appreciate. Let's see. It smells vaguely of uh, like a processed cherry, uh, maybe a pomegranate. And the first thing I'd like to do is just take a sip of it. Uh, it's a bit hot, but I might think I might extract some good flavors that way. It definitely has some hints of pomegranate. I might say it's actually primarily pomegranate. Let's see here on these. But there's nothing natural in it, so that's probably something processed. Let's have one more sip. Good. It's definitely a very energy drink, something like a monster or uh, anything else. Uh, so now I would like to pour one out uh, raw into a glass so we can admire it. Look, apparently this is what dragon piss looks like. Uh, as we can see, it is a carbonated beverage, much more so than when it was opened. It has a pink hue. Uh, giving me another indicator that it may be some kind of cherry pomegranate drink. Uh, now, let's see if the aeration of the pouring effort has affected its taste any. It affects it so okay. It's a little less distinct, a little less fruity. Good. I think the aerating effect of drinking it in a glass rather than a can, the pouring motion, uh, definitely improves the flavor. I'm just going to clear my palate real quick. I'm going to let that air a bit, but can I tell you about my sponsor, Nerd Crate? Uh, with Nerd Crate, especially with the code uh, CATALYST with two S's, you can get $5 off $35 of your favorite shit that you get mailed to you monthly. Again, that's Catalyst with two S's, and you can have a bunch of cheap Chinese shit just mailed right to you. Anyway, let's return to this video. I'm gonna see here. Maybe a different glass. I'm gonna try it with ice. A bit of an ice drink here. This is one, two.
ice really brings out the best in energy drinks, I've found. So some people drink it just from the can. But in my opinion, it's always been a little ice. Yeah. That just might be me, you know, growing up in the desert. about that's enough ice I'm a little light on the ice today so let's see here uh, let's see if I can get a good pour you can see the acid in the drink cutting through the ice the ice definitely offers a more pink uh, hue to the drink wait for that to cool down a bit uh, just like I'm waiting for my tempers to cool down from not being able to buy prime edition of shadow and crossfire that I've been waiting for anyway uh, let's see here I think it's about ready to drink so it's cooled down cold to the touch Uh, that definitely extracted a lot of flavor. It took a lot of the acidity out of the drink, I find, with the added water from the ice. So, well, that's all for my review. Uh, I'd give it probably three and a half Kerblamos out of five. Uh, stay tuned for next Gen Con when I'm disappointed in Catalyst once more. My second sponsor of this video is Dragonfire because they sure as hell had it in stock as will every local game store near you for years to come. Uh, thank you for your time. Uh, stay in school and have a good day.